Is retail dying? All right, guys, we're living in a strange time. Um, this is gonna be a little different video because I'm actually on my lunch break right now. Usually I'm in the studio or making these kind of videos. But the, what I want to talk about is the end of retail. Are we seeing retail slowly die? It's, it's kind of scary. I couldn't even get them all right now with lockdowns. As you may know, a lot of business are shut down. We're deemed essential, so we're obviously staying open. But it's kind of strange to see how the mall is just dead. And to my point, it looks like this has been a trend that's been happening over time where slowly, slowly people are resorting to shopping online, going to websites like Amazon, eBay, and first is coming out and buying in the mall. And it gets you thinking, is uh, the retail shopping industry something that's gonna die out? As you can see in the mall right now, it's empty, stores are closed, but these business owners still have to pay rent. It's quite scary and interesting to see what's to come. You know, me specifically, I grew up in, in this area. I went to this mall my whole life. And to see it, to a demise, and um, all these businesses are closed, it, it's, it's terrifying. And as a business owner, you could really like know the struggle and see the pain in these other retailers. Just like right now, the reason I'm in my car is usually I grab lunch from the food court. In the mall, I go to the food court, food court's empty, which is a strange sight to see. And it's interesting to see what comes in the coming of days. And is this gonna really be a thing? Is retail really gonna die? Is, uh, are people gonna stop shopping? And I know some of you may be thinking, Umar, it's because of the lockdown. But if you guys don't know, half of the mall's already been shut down. If you're not familiar with this mall, this is where the movie theater used to be. And again, they closed it. They didn't make a bigger one, but this is a dead retail space that they have currently like, no plans available to public. They obviously have something else they would rent it out to you. But this was the entire Sears way. It's insane because nothing's there anymore. The, like they, they've ripped it out. Can we get a better angle? All of this was Sears. And they've ripped that section out of the mall out. Like tell the Hudson's Bay, we had like a whole part of the mall there. So there were Sears here, mall connected to the rest of the mall. That glass over there is where it connected and they just put a new entrance level. That's insane. This literally in the next four years will be a high rise. They actually cut off of the mall and it's interesting why, because they want to build condos. So it's like, they're like, okay, screw the mall. People are going online. Let's, since nobody's renting these units, let's break them and build condos, right? We also had in so many occasions, like the Pickering flea market just shut down. Accents, like, what do you think they're gonna put there? Homes, condos, pre-cons, uh, townhomes. Like it's getting to a point where we're overpopulated. You know, I'm from a small suburb city in Toronto called Pickering, outside of Toronto, I should say. And I guess the city's growing. So they're removing the flea market again because the business is so slow and they're gonna build condos there, right? They, this has been happening all over and it's it's interesting to see that what's what's to come from this. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love online shopping. I do, uh, not a majority, but a decent amount of online shopping. But it's kind of scary to see this die. And it, this is a, a real, um, you know, some insight for business owners and retail owners to step your game up because if your customer service or your experience of your shopper is not on par no one's gonna buy from you like take it in how many times have you had an experience where you went to a store and you're just so awkward because you didn't want the guy at best buy to come up to you and they keep asking do you need help and no i don't need help right and th then there's a reverse time when you really need help and no one's around the aisles are empty uh, we, we're living in a, in a society now where we really want service, right? As you get older, you realize that it's not necessarily the price. I'll definitely shop somewhere costs a little bit more if I know I'm gonna get better service. And there's times where I don't care about service or I just need a product where I'm not gonna go for the best service. I'm gonna go for the cheapest price. But if you're a retailer, you gotta be more uh, brand focused, customer focused, if you wanna see a shift, if you wanna see survival past this because after the pandemic's over, guys, you gotta understand, we, we, we could see a dip in the real estate market too, and, it, it's, and the stocks will go down. Like we could see 2021 crash, and if this was to happen, it's just gonna be even hard on the retail retailers. So it's interesting to see for sure, and as the weeks to come, we'll, we'll really get to see more, but 
it's insane and this is something that's been happening for years in major cities and now smaller cities like Pickering are, are, are getting the effects of this so let's see what happens it's a little little different kind of video I don't really talk about subjects uh, relating to um, economics and society but it's interesting to see for sure with all speculation left behind as you can see in the video the malls are empty right and yes it's because of pandemic but this is a time for us to realize that service-based businesses need to step their game up because if someone can find a product cheaper somewhere else they're gonna go somewhere else what they can't find somewhere else is you if your service is to the next level they can't replace you so as a business owner as somebody who's an entrepreneur and wants to be a service-based business you need to find out a way of how you could stand out because everything will be replaced folks so how are you going to stand out in the crowd how are you going to stay ahead of the game that's it for this video folks if you enjoyed content like this do make sure you subscribe this is something a little different i usually make videos on personal development and investing but if content like that sounds interesting to you do make sure you subscribe until next time peace